Hello, and a big shout out to the Cisco Support Community Forum. My name is Ginger Dillon, and I have been a participant on the forum since 2001. This is my first video log. I'm really excited to be sharing this with you today, and we are going to be focusing on the topic of how to train users or some of the challenges that you might face when training users on different models of Cisco phones. In a recent customer deployment, we had both 9971 phones and 7965 phones. Now in my home lab, I have comparable models. I have the 7942 two-line phone, and then I have an 8961 phone that is very much like the 9971. It just does not have the camera, the touch screen, and it has less uh, feature and session buttons on the main panel. Here is a PowerPoint that we used in the training. What we ended up doing is separating our users into two classes, one for the 7965s and another class for the 9971s. So the 7965 uses soft keys for hold, transfer, and conferencing. It also uses soft keys for other functions such as call pickup and meet me. The 7965 has separate button for services and settings versus the 9971's application button. And the soft key names may be different, such as the call forward all versus the 9971's forward all. Now I'm going to go ahead and show you some of the differences with the two phones. And again, this is just a challenge you might face if you're training users or if your help desk is training users or working with support calls. You might have a user call in and say they're having trouble doing a specific function on a phone and then the support person has to make sure that they're knowing what model the customer is using. With the 8900 and 9900 series phones, some of the soft keys, for example, call pickup and meet me, are not available on this phone via the typical soft keys. These buttons here on the left are called feature buttons. And what you have to do is assign one of these feature buttons to the Meet Me or Call Pickup or Do Not Disturb, for example. And if you have in this, as in this phone, it has two lines on the phone, you now chew up some valuable real estate by having to assign these buttons. What you might do in that case is get an expansion module, one or more expansion modules, for these types of phones. The other thing with the 7965s, is you have your directories button. When you press your directories button, you have your missed, received, placed, calls, personal directory, and your corporate directory. Conversely, on the 8900 or 9900 series phones, you have an application button down here. When you press that, if you want the same missed calls, placed calls, received calls, you're going to go to your call history and that is where you would find that same information and then you also have a separate soft key now for just missed calls and then I'll exit out of that on the 9971 the directories button as I've just shown you does not have your call history instead it just has your personal directory and corporate directory In our customer training, we show them how to answer multiple calls, multiple calls on either the same line or another call coming in on a second line. So with the 7965, they're going to press the answer soft key to answer a second call on the same line. And here I'll show you an example. So here I have my first call. Then I'm going to go ahead and place a new call. And here we can see the second incoming call and we show our customers that they press the answer soft key which of course puts the first call automatically on hold and answers the incoming call. That's how it's handled with the 7965s. With the 9971 phones, it's done a little bit differently. 
So I'm going to go ahead and call. Are you there? Are you there? So I have that call on now. Now I see a second incoming call. I'm going to press the session button over here that's flashing. And then now I've answered that other call. Now here I have two calls up on the same line on the 9971 and the way I navigate between these two calls is to use my session buttons on the right side to navigate and you can see I'm highlighting one call and then going back to the second call. Once I get more than two or more calls up on this phone though, it's a little bit different than the 7965 here I'm going to show you the same example I would use my navigation key to review and that's where they call it's called stacking where you have your phone calls appearing one below the other. With the 9971 phones there's a feature button you can put on here called all calls which allows you to look at the phone calls that you have up at one time. So I would recommend doing that if you don't mind again taking one of those buttons of your real estate on your 9971 phone. So that's it for the demonstration of the 7965 phone versus the 9971 phone. Would I implement these two types of models in future customer deployments? I'm thinking it would be easier to implement the 8900 series phones even though they don't have the video camera and the touch screen because the buttons are closer and it simplifies your user training. You can have one training document, one training class when your users call in for help desk support. They can just deal with a one model of phone. And then for the executives, for example, go ahead and give them the 9971 phones and maybe for areas where you don't need a full business phone, you could use a 6921 phone, for example. So I hope this has been of value for you. I've really enjoyed doing it. For now, this is Ginger Dillon signing off. Till next time, have a great day.